welcome to Turn and Burn UK. Today we're going to be doing some spindle turning, maybe make some Christmas decorations we're, and try and incorporate some sea anemone shells. Uh, so grab coffee and enjoy. So I'm just marking up some spindles and preparing these ready to turn and fit between the sea anemones. This is a jig I've made up for the sea anemones. It's cone with 120 grit sandpaper wrapped around it. When the sea anemones arrive, the, there's a, a hole in the top and bottom of them, but they're not uniform. So you can use the sandpaper to make a nice uniform hole at the top and bottom that the finials will sit into. They're quite delicate, so gentle touch. I've lacquered these first with a, a melamine lacquer from Chestnut Product. Um, which will just sort of help hold them together a bit. This marking centres on this PCU. This is going to be for one of the other finials. U has a tendency, especially when dry, to lose its bark as you turn. So it's always worth removing as much bark as you can with a chisel before you start. Make sure that the tool rest is nice and close to the spindle at all times using a half inch roughing gouge just to rough this down to round. And now I'm marking the top and bottom finials and parting off. This is another piece that we're working on. There are six sea anemones, so I'm going to use six different pieces of wood, two of which will be coloured using airbrush and spirit stain. This is just cutting the top finial. As you can see, my hand is supporting the finial as I'm making those fine, delicate cuts. You really need sharp tools to be working on these fine finials. This is the top finial that we're turning here. In order to make sure the top and bottom finials connect in between the sea and enemy, I drill a hole in one end of the finial um, and then connect that with a piece of beech dowel, about three mil thick. It's just enough to connect them to connect them together inside the sea anemone and it means that they, they hang nice and straight. These are held in pin jaws which allows you to hold them on a smaller, smaller tenon. This is the bottom finial that we're turning here. Try and keep the um, end supported using the tailstock as much as possible. Just using a tack cloth to remove the pre any grit that was left over from the last sanding. And then we'll move on to the next grit. All of the finials have been sanded to 600 grit. Tack cloth in between. Just support the top of the finial as you, as you sand. It's at times like this that there's a real chance that the finial can be snapped, so just be a bit careful. Just fine tuning the tenon on the end here. I 
I haven't got round to removing the sharp points on the calipers so I'm stopping and starting the lathe. You can just run a file or, or hold the, the points onto a onto a belt just to take the uh, take those really sharp points off and it means that they won't catch in the timber. So that's one that's ready for airbrushing. Sorry, it's slightly out of shot there. You'll get a better picture later on. So here's B. She's using uh, spirit stains applied through the airbrush. There will be a little bit of overspray onto the jaws of the chuck, but that can be removed uh, with a wire brush and some methylated spirit once the project's been finished. I generally clean the chuck jaws up as I swap them over. So I use a brass bristle brush like a suede brush, a little bit of meths, just give it a clean. And then when I put the jaws away, I give them a quick spray with some WD-40 or some 3-in-1 oil just to keep them, keep them protected. So that's the finished piece, just bringing it back to the lathe. We'll give this a spray with some chestnut product sanding sealer. I use the cellulose sanding sealer. It's ready mixed and perfect for application. Dries quite quickly. Just final check on the size of the tenon, you can see it's slightly oversized, so freshly sharpened parting tool. Just take a, 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 a fine slice off of the tenon so that it'll fit into the top of the sea anemone. I'm not finishing these on the lathe. They've all been finished with some spray sanding sealer and then I'll buff these using the buffing wheels by Chestnut. Just moving on to super gluing these into place. I've tried different glues but the super glue does work very well. Just need to leave it to, to set. So balance these in, the, on, in between the, the bedways and uh, I'll nip off for a cup of tea while I'm waiting for those to go off when I'm truly. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of, of new videos. And here's a couple of pictures of the finished scene enemies. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.